Hi, I'm Jessica. Today we'd like to share with you two tips on how to improve your English listening. You may have heard people say that you can practice listening by watching TV, listening to the radio, or watching video clips online. Sure, the language may be English, but are you really practicing your listening? To practice, the first tip from us is that you need to have a purpose. Just watching something is not enough. You need to keep yourself focused. Give yourself a purpose. How? Let me give you some examples. When you're watching the news online, try to pick out the who, the when, the what, and the why of a particular story. If you're using sources like YouTube or the BBC, you can review several news stories online and keep practicing until you get the answer you're looking for. Okay, let's use another example. You can watch other programs such as popular drama series like the Game of Thrones. Can you actually name the who, when, what, and why of a particular short scene without the help of the titles? If you could, then that's great. You should keep practicing. If not, you need to ask yourself why. There are many reasons why you may have missed the information. For example, your vocabulary could be limited in that area, or it could simply be that the information was not mentioned. That leads us to our second tip. You need to evaluate your performance. If you couldn't name the character in the drama, or you were unable to explain the who, when, what, and why in a particular short scene, you need to find out the reason. Be honest with yourself so that you know where you need to improve. So, when practicing listening in a more casual manner, you should still set yourself a question. Know what you want to find out, and have a purpose. Since you're practicing and want to get better, you should always evaluate your performance. By doing so, you'll be better prepared for similar tasks in the future. Okay, improving your English listening skills will help you in exams like IELTS, where you'll need to listen to different accents and different types of scenarios. It will also help you in real-life scenarios like job interviews. For example, where there is a panel of interviewers with different people asking questions. Or in a group interview setting where you need to listen and respond when other applicants talk. If you go on an overseas study tour, exchange or placement, or simply just working in an international environment, it is very likely you'll need good English listening skills. So there's lots of reasons to be improving your listening skills. Now the question is, when are you going to start? Goodbye and good luck.